Let's dive into this play by LeBron James and cover what can be found within the moments of this play right here. The main thing that I want to focus on is number one, how many dribbles LeBron took, and number two, how many steps LeBron took. Because so often this game is taught as a game of length, of taking long steps. And obviously there's a time for long steps, but the most important skill when it comes to movement in the game of basketball, it has got to be the ability to stay short with steps. And that's one of the missing links to a lot of players' game. So if we're breaking this down, LeBron starts the ball by, starts this play by grabbing the ball and heading down the floor. Now what we're gonna do is start counting steps at the moment of release. And so if you're looking at his first step, he's gonna push the ball across his body. He's flowing with it, pushing it back. And then what's gonna happen is he's gonna take a total of five dribbles in 13 steps from a similar space on the floor. Now, I executed this play to show one important thing. Even though our distances were very similar, we actually took the exact same amount of steps and the exact amount of dribbles in the same space, even though he's six foot nine and I'm five foot nine. And that is the, the most important part of this because so often we look at players' body types and say, okay, that type of player, he should get there in this many steps and that player should get there in that many steps. But the reality of it, the space of the game is the same. The skill of players is simply this, that you're able to fit yourself into the space that is required, whether or not you're 5'9 or you're 6'9. In fact, you can really look at how skilled LeBron is in terms of an athlete with the fact that he's able to take 13 steps in that amount of space, that he wasn't overstretching himself and losing his speed and his power. He was actually able to keep his feet underneath his hips. So as he's taking the ball and dribbling down the floor, he's not stretching his feet beyond his shoulders, what we would call extended steps. He's keeping himself in partial steps while obviously having contact, which have which helps slow down the, the distance of the steps, but he's able to do that all the way up until the point of finally being under the basket for his dunk. And that's the main thing that we wanna be able to look at. Do you have the ability to shorten your steps and take more dribbles? Yes, there's times to see how little dribbles it takes you to get down the length of the floor, but there's more skill involved with your ability to take five dribbles, for instance, with 13 steps than it is just pushing the ball up the floor and chasing it. So if you really wanna be a master of your ball handling of your body and be able to get downhill, start taking a page out of LeBron's book in this play and start working on your ability to take partial steps on the run. Because if you can fit yourself into this same space, you're acting like a high level player in the game. take a snapshot of a player making a move, you can really dissect things. The position of the foot, the positions of the defensive player. You, know, you can break things down. If you're seeing a game move so quickly, a lot of times you can't, right? So with a still image, you can really pick things apart. 